I, I like to communicate to you, guys. Vojko Gavrilovic. I said it at the beginning, it doesn't matter. Vojko. And you can call me just Vojko. He's OK. Ralph, please. Just yeah. Great. Next to me. OK. <laughs> Okay, we will give them chance to run like so, like they stay, and we are going to try to catch everybody. Okay, one who is already caught, please, to the same position to help us until we catch the last one. Okay, Ajime, go along. Go, 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 down, down, go, 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 Run normal. I, I, I corrected the word. Run normal. Only people who are already done go and run for it. Okay? Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, help, help, help. Come on, down, down. Help. 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 Go down. 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 Okay, who is that? Oh, oh. come on, there are two teachers. Okay, oh, come on. We are jumping on your left leg and hitting each other with a but the shoulder was yeah. So and trying this is the nice balance exercise, yeah? And you are you have a right to avoid it to bring it out of the balance. Yeah? <coughs> okay, I'll give it. Come on. Stay 
all is in good balance like people say that, for example, yeah? And trying to bring our partner out of balance, either to hit him or push your pulse on the side and bring him fully out of balance. Oh, oh don't touch me here, uh -oh. just in pulse. <laughs> yeah! Okay, Hajime. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs>
they get back, you run until this one and go to the same position. Okay? Go back. Run. Hey, 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 hey. You are down. Come on. Okay, Ajime. First line and second line. Ajime, come on. As long as you're in the middle, second line. No shoot or no. Now, 
before, one of you, have you have to put your palms next to your partner, as close as possible. Not here. Here. One more time. If you put your palms wide, you know. Oh. We have to start. Referee said, Hajime, Hajime, what we have to do? What we have to think about? And throw, but how can I throw? You are close. Other opinion? What I need to do first, guys? Grip! Once I have a grip, what I have to think about? Just throw, but he's a tough guy, staying in good balance. I cannot move him. What I have to do? have to break his balance, or if I'm smart enough, skillful enough, I can use his mistake if he lose balance by himself, just continue and take advantage of it, right? Okay, we will do both now. First, I have to think, uh -huh, there are so many different approaches, how can I grip? I have to know what I want to do and adjust my grip to my what? Technique. What I want to use to throw him. I don't think it's a smart idea to take this grip and work on, for example, hypnosanal, for example. It's a long way to take my hand here and bring it here at the same time, think about breaking a balance, etc. I have to know what I want to do, what technique I want to apply, and adjust my grip. And the more of you are probably familiar with the orthodox grip, weapon, and sleep, right? Okay, now, we are going just to practice some exercises and you can do it at your club uh, later on. How to grip and stay in good balance. Just a kind of exercise. We are taking a normal distance. If I stretch my hand, I can grip. And this position is usually a good position, good balance. I have to go a little bit down to make better balance and better surface and now I'm trying as quickly as possible get this grip. I didn't. I'm not good enough. Now concentrate yourself fast and break a balance. Again, concentrate and give a signal yourself. Now and try to react as quickly as you can. About to Grip him. Okay, just him. Okay. Okay. The next one, try both and move. Okay. But how to move? Don't move this way. Always keep the same distance and not jump up and down. You have to stay always in the same line with your center of gravity. First one, hop. Second one, hop. Okay, and open a little bit space. You need it later on to do something. Okay, no throwing right now. Just these two things. Grip, break a balance. Second one, grip, break balance, and move backwards. But stay yourself in good balance. Three assignments. Okay?
trying to go more around, but everybody has to roll if you're pushing good enough. Again, up, here, here, and go down at the same time. Here, drop down. Okay. Or if you follow that, you can from other side. Do I need to show one more time from other direction or you understood already? You do? Who doesn't understand? Please, no problem. I'm here to show you, to explain each small detail. Okay? Just raise your hand if you want to me to do one more time, no problem. Okay? Run this side. Oh, here. Okay, and turn around. I see the member is here to make us raise or remember me, I think so, from country, yeah. And Unfortunately, Run. Run. she has competed against one of my students from Austria first match and uh, lost. But I have heard from Austrian coach that you have competed excellent, wonderful, which is a big surprise for all of us guys. I have to tell you, I told you at the beginning, Austrian team especially is really very professional team. And that girl who beat her, is practicing daily six to eight hours judo every day. Every day, judo conditioning, uh, massage, etc. Et she is really professional, but you have completed perfectly, perfectly. I'm really glad 
and tie her shoulder here. Once I want to grip it, I have to pull down my underarm to grip. Now, there is a lot of space here, and I cannot control her body anymore. This is psychologically that we think we are stronger if we grip, but in this case, we are not. I'm here, excellent. Look at, she cannot move, try to move. Look at, she cannot move underarm here anymore. 
Now, since I have control here, I'm pushing down, but the other hand is up. Now I have full control. I don't need to grip it. It's enough to turn and throw. Please, don't try. Then you will lose control. And what, what is happening then? If you go this, and this, you are she's ending. I cannot throw anymore. I don't have control. But here, she is next to me all the time. OK? Thank you. It's very important. It's small thing, but very important for competition. Some of them support their technique to power. Some of them through endurance waiting, balance, pushing, pulling, and looking for a moment to apply the technique. Some of them are supporting their technique through speed, which is for Ipon Serenage as well as for other techniques. But for Ipon Serenage especially, very important to follow technique with your skill. If you are kind of fast, competitor, then probably you will use your hip and turning around. And most of those people are doing this way, here, and they push. They are playing with their hip very quickly. There was one, uh, I should have no, I think it doesn't matter, who had a fantastic movement for hip. So I will show to you both. Of Some of them do this way and this way. They support their technique uh, through their speed. They think they are quickly enough and it cannot be caught during the movement. The other shudoka, they support maybe more with power. They bring the position to get control, and they offer this hand forward, they are strong. And usually, sometimes it's happening that the opponent is trying to sweep. Yeah? At that time, it's perfect moment for me to set up my technique, other, to switch to Seo Toshi or some other techniques. Depends on her or his behavior. But when we are talking about Ipon Serenage, please, Consider both variation, depends on you, you can practice both. Making a balance here and here and here, or here, instantly here, and go down. It depends on you. You have to look for your own way according to your body's position, composition and skill. Okay? Try both and look for your way. Thank you. Now, you are using your rotation power. Since I am pretty creative judo player, I'm always trying to transmit my knowledge to my students in all directions. There is no judo player who is throwing just one direction. You have to uh, look for the uh, balance of your opponents and opportunity to set up your technique. Now, once your opponents are following your development, your investment, and they found out, oh, he's an excellent Ipon Sewi thrower. I have to be careful and block on time and be, take care about that. Yeah? Now, I'm breaking balance here. Coming here, look at my knee and my body position is close to her. Now, I can turn here around this or if I see my opponent is ready to defend herself and block me, I'm getting control here. Instead to turn here, 
I'm playing game with my head. I'm just simulating this moment, having control here, but I'm throwing backwards. Okay? <coughs> One more time. She blocks me. She know I'm good here. Look at how hardly he blocked me. But I have a full control. My head is oriented to throw in this direction, but I'm changing it and throwing back. Someone asked me, but I was planning <coughs> to come in this kind of serenade pool. We were working from the classic right bit, right? Now, we are going to take from partners right method, which is important to have our hand over her hand. To push it down. There are more reasons why to do it. First, if I let her over and somehow accidentally my technique doesn't work and I turn around, she can get me and chop. Even if I go down, it's more dangerous to get her around and chop me. That's why I have to hold always over and control. This is one reason. The second one, psychologically, if you are trying to push someone, what's going to happen? She's giving resistance, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same in this case. I'm holding the prayer and pushing her arm all the time down. Logically, she is trying to defend herself. At the same time, she is making space for me to come under her armpit. If she would follow my requirement, here I cannot come to, to my technique. Right? But usually, is to expect that the partner is pushing my hand and making me space to my technique and I can work. Okay, now please try this technique with the friend. If I say to you, night, everybody has to go to school. If I say day, as quickly as possible, then not. However, by mistake, you have to go on your stomach and wait until you finish your okay. game. Okay? Let's start. Okay. And not. So, but it will just go. Okay. Okay, now you know how it will.
and roll. Follow her to Esther coming Doesn't matter which get control in case there was no people, you have to continue. Okay, come on. Yeah. You can throw with speed without getting the full control. If you catch your partner out of balance, it's enough just like Ukiyotoshi, just turn around. You don't need to help yourself in your hand. So, but with experience with a player, believe it or not, it's very seldom to catch someone out of balance on that way that you can use his swing to throw him. You really have to get him in grip if you could and follow. That's why I'm trying to transmit to you this feeling of power, of control. Okay. As I said, if I see that my partner is out of balance here, I'm pushing in and I can throw in here. I don't need to make any other effort to do it. But on the high level of competition, you cannot get such knife in the plan. You have really to invest your knowledge and power and everything to get him here. Now you have him won. You have a chance if you are skillful enough, but he can throw you also to Sumigashi or something else. Once I get this position, I have to be very strong here. Strong. And now, if he moves backwards, this, head, this leg, doesn't matter to me. I'm adjusting my body. I'm following him and making just a longer, a longer step backwards here and throw in here in the same direction. Don't stop it and get scared. Oh, he avoided my first attack. Doesn't matter. I have to be persistent and follow all the car. And here, ha! Now I got it. How I can do this? Even if he steps back. Please be concentrated. Tie over the shoulder and don't push your head down. The more you go down, the less control over his upper body. Okay, if I go down, then there's a space here. I cannot control his body for, but here, and go back uh, uh, your head up here. Now I have the time. He cannot move anymore. I can throw wherever I want. Here, backwards, here, you know, doesn't matter. There is no rule, guys. In today's judo, it's important to throw. Don't think, oh, this book says I have to follow 45 degrees to throw. No. Judo develop really very fast and you have to be persistent and look for your way how to throw. There's no room. Okay, one more time. And please I will let you then to do really switch for the ground work. Here, now hop time. Go go back with go back with look at here. And slide up from here and throw. Okay? Come on. For defense wise, what do you suggest? <laughs> for you know, it's really tough. If you get caught from one uh, forward story to your country, 
they are doing a kind of summary. He knows it. It's really a very tough issue. Very tough. Usually people are trying... Omanaji. Yeah. Omanaji. So, uh, Sumigayashi, which is a risk you can create first. If you try in, in high position, it could be maybe Tomoya, Yoko Tomoya, but it's, they do usually pretty low here. And, you know, sometimes if they stay hanged, like try, try to do it. Say, hey, you know, then you can do, uh, I can do uh, makikomi here, you know, no. which is it's very hard. Very hard. Yeah. Very, believe me, very hard. Uh, this, try again. You try to circle around and uchimata, but as I said, they are hanging down. So the worst thing. The worst thing is to try to defend and be strong. Yeah. 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 It's better for you to try to do an attack or a counter attack. Some people, some people are doing, you are pretty high. For this technique, you are pretty high. But some of people are doing just going around. You know, just like, uh, how do you say, with carving, yeah, carve it. it works sometimes if they don't have a code. The common position in judo is this one. Yeah. Now you have to be very skillful to control your opponent, and usually the best control is with your legs. If you have a little bit the taller guy, it's easier to control it because you have uh, bent, bent you and push him and try something, you know. But if you have a smaller one, he's coming to you, it, you cannot even come to this position to push him. Huh? Now, I want to show you one kind, what we possibly can do from this position to bring in his coming to me, take it here or here. And now you are trying to roll, to swing backwards and holding him from outside. Where are you? Come please over there. Here, from outside, bring, take the sleeve, bring your legs up like you want to roll. Here. And they do jujigata. Okay, but you have to control his right hand here. To push his elbow inside, he cannot then control your upper body. If he come here, it's too late then we have to work something other. But if we have it here, with all elbow, push your elbow to your rib and control it in here. Here, and like this. Or like you want to roll. Up. Slightly go backwards and you have it. Okay? To move left and right, why I'm telling you to bring your legs up? To make your surface smaller. If I fall on my rookie, on my back, it's big surface and it's not easy for me to move. If I make it here, it's a lot easier to move. Huh? Now, I want you, now you have idea what we need to do to move left and right. 
help you with your legs or your hands to move up on the side, on the side, on the side, on the side. Each time I have it. But hop, okay. Or other side, hop, hop. Okay, now practice to move left and right and to get that position from, from the side. Okay, left and right. Where they support themselves with legs, they push yourself and go better to the other side. Okay, up, up, okay, Marte, come here. Thank you. Okay, good, okay. Just to get a little bit better control, but the movement itself is excellent. Okay, now, hop. Okay, sometimes you can switch, take here, turn around with him. Okay. And you can have arm up here. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the hospital. to I'm to to and we will see them slightly. Okay. Here, it's very important to get your partner up. And now, you are turning, and here, fake control. Now, I already have arm lock here. Already. But if it doesn't work, they are people more flexible, and they can hold it. Now, I switch, I'm controlling in. And usually, the partner is trying to step up. Over. It doesn't matter to me if he tried to escape with stepping, I'm taking his leg and controlling to avoid his support here. And turning around with him together, very tight. If I leave his leg, he will support him and I lose this position. But I'm holding him here with my head and arm. And now I'm turning together and up, and now I have already arm lock again. If he's flexible enough, look at, I have other one. Both are under control. Either push down on one leg or one arm or other one up. Both are working. Okay, I hope it's recorded here. You are gonna have opportunity to watch it and practice. And now, the last technique I would like to you to do is a little bit easier, but requires also power and good control. The open, we have, okay, this way you can see it. Look at, here. Now, I'm trying to get my right arm under to get his sleeve next to elbow and arm in this position. Now I'm controlling it here, lifting my head, coming to him and getting here. Now I have to push into me and control very well. The, the better control, the easier to turn around. And he's trying to escape, coming either up in this direction or up, doesn't matter, I'm following him. If he tried to go up, I go with him. Try slow, yeah, no, no, just up, just go up. Look at, doesn't matter. Now, I'm using this direction. Look at. Now, I'm throwing him here. I'm throwing him here. Right now, I can turn around. And I just 
my hand, it's not necessary to hold here because if he rolls, then it could be uh, to hurt my finger. But I can put it over here or here. Or here, doesn't matter, but this one is for sure the best one. Never lift up your head and control and show to audience or your coach how skillful you are. Hold until the epon is announced. Here. something they go on his knees and stay down here look at here now I'm trying to get here it, it allows me to have a swing if he doesn't doesn't matter it works also very well controlling and doing I want it, that so. tape as quick as I can get it okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you can do it in this position. Up, here, control, go up, and go up. Okay, one more time. It will be Yoko Shiogatame, Tate Shiogatame, Kami Mune, etc. It's important to hold what does a rule referees rule said to control your opponent on the back for how many seconds? 44. That's all, go. And there is no rule how to turn. You must not use the prohibited techniques. All other is fine. It's mother of your skill, composition, and as I said, if you support your technique with power or with speed, endurance, apply it, and it's going to work. But you have to practice, 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 and practice. Thank you very much. OK, guys. <laughs>